Hello students, welcome to maths class. Today we will start a new chapter that is heights and distances which tells us how trigonometry is used to find the heights and distance between the object without actual measuring them. So we will do this topic today. Before starting with the questions related to the topic, we will do the objectives of today's class. So children, objective number one is introduction about line of sight, types of angles and types of figures. And objective number two is to find the height of some object. So children, today we will do all the definitions means related terms and one question we will do in which we have to find the height of any object. Students, let's start with the first term which is the line of sight. Now what is line of sight? It is drawn from the eye of the observer to the point in which the object viewed by the observer. Now we will understand the meaning of line of sight with the help of one example. Students, here I have taken one example. An observer is standing on the ground level. This is a tower. This observer is looking towards the tower. This is the top of the tower and this observer is looking towards the top. So, this is the line of sight which is drawn from the eye of the observer to the top of the object. This is the object and this is the height of the object and this line is known as the horizontal line or we can say this is the distance between the observer and the object and here one angle will be made. Now we will understand which are the different types of angles can be drawn. Students Types of angles that can be drawn are angle of elevation and angle of depression. So these are the two types of angles that can be drawn. Now what is angle of elevation that I will tell you. So angle of elevation is the angle which is above the horizontal line. Which horizontal line which I have told you just now here I have taken this example. This is the horizontal line. This is the horizontal line and the observer is looking up so it is making the angle of elevation. For example, an observer looking up from the ground level towards the top of an aeroplane. In previous example, I have given you the example of tower and here another example is of aeroplane. I will give you one more example afterwards. After doing the definition of angle of depression. Now what is angle of depression? Let's understand it's the downwards angle from the horizontal to the line of sight from the observer to some point. So angle of elevation was the upwards angle and angle of depression is the downwards angle. Now here example I have taken let's suppose an observer is standing in a building and looking anything below the building. This figure will give you more clear idea about angle of elevation and angle of depression. This is an observer. This observer is looking towards an object which is above his head. So this is the angle of elevation and if he is looking down towards the object, this is the angle of depression. Upward angle is known as angle of elevation and downwards angle is known as angle of depression. Students, for the calculation of the chapter height and distances, we need trigonometrical angles. These are the standard angles 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. And these are the values of sin theta, cos theta and tan theta on these various standard angles. And children, we have done this concept of standard angles in our previous class. And 
if angle will be other than standard angle in that case we will use log table students in this chapter we are mainly having these six types of figures this is the figure number 1 figure number 2 figure number 3 this is the figure number 4 figure number 5 and this is the figure number 6 so here in this chapter i want to tell you it is very much important to draw the figure then afterwards solve the question now when we will discuss the questions then side by side i will tell you this question is related to which type of figure so let's start with the question number 1 which is related to the figure number 1 students let's start with the question number 1 statement is the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point on the ground and at a distance of 150 meter from its foot is 30 degree find the height of the tower so students this is the tower and this is at a distance of 1 meter from the foot of the observer and it makes angle of 30 degree with the ground now we have to find the height of the tower this is the height this i have denoted by letter h so let's start with the question solution is in a right angled triangle abc triangle name is abc b is the base which is 150 meter and perpendicular means value of height we have to find so we here we have to find value of h and value of b is given to us means we are mainly concerned with tan means p upon b so what's the value of tan theta it is p upon b theta is 30 degree p we have to find so this will remain h and base is 150 now put the value of tan 30 that is 1 upon under root 2 is equals to h upon 150 degree to the cross multiplication here we'll get 1 upon under root 3 into 150 is equals to h now children here in denominator we are having third as we know this is the rule of mathematics that denominator should not contain any third so here we will rationalize the denominator we will multiply numerator and denominator by under root 3 so here we will get 150 into under root 3 under root 3 multiply by under root 3 will give us 3 now here we will do the cutting this cutting here i will get 50 so 50 into under root 3 and what is the value of under root 3 it is given to us in this statement it is 1.732 now multiply with 50 will get 86.6 meter as the height of this tower so students this was the solution of question number 1 students i hope that you have understood the various terms and question number 1 related to the chapter heights and distances and now you will be able to solve the worksheet that has been sent to you in snap homework Thank you and have a nice day